Hi everyone, my name is Brandon Griffin and today I'm going to show you how to do a consent form in Qualtrics. Now whether you are using Qualtrics for a class or you're doing a research project or maybe you're doing it for your company, you always need to get consent. People need to know what they're getting into, how the data is going to be used, what they're going to be asked, how the data is going to be stored before they actually participate in a project. So before you get any demographic information, before you actually have them answer the survey items, they need to 100% give their consent in the survey. So here is a super simple consent form that I have right here. Obviously this is um, a, little, a little bit too simplistic, but what you would need to do, you would need to come up with some consent form that would say, hey, here's our project. You're gonna be taking a five minute um, study on ice cream. Um, your data is going to be held on a secure um, flash drive or a secure server and the data will be deleted after three months. So you're going to go through the IRB process or you're going to go through some process just to make sure that everything is neat and meets legal and ethical guidelines. So after all that is completed, what you're going to do, you're going to come into Qualtrics and you want to create a new block. You're going to hit a new add block. And what that is going to do, that is going to make sure that before your participants answer any other questions, they're just answering the consent form. So I've added my new block and I'm going to add a new question and I'm going to do multiple choice. So here you would copy and paste your survey consent. So here is the survey consent. You'd copy and paste it here. And at the very end, it's crucial that you have a yes or no, such as yes, I, let's see. Yes, I, let me write it a better way. So at the very end, you'd say select, yes, I agree to participate, to participate in this study or select no i do not agree to participate to be ex excluded from this study so after you have that information you're going to copy and paste as yes i agree to participate or just simply a, a yes and no here yes or no i do not agree to participate you're going to copy that down here and then make sure that there are only two answers. So because consent is so important, you want to force a requirement. You want to add a requirement. So what you're going to do here, you're going to click on the actual survey question and you're going to hit add requirement and you're going to force response so they cannot move past until they actually complete the consent form. But we don't want people to hit no and just to be able to continue on with the survey. We need to build logic into Qualtrics that will automatically kick them out and won't that let them finish. So here I have my consent, I've built my actual survey question, and then I have my last uh, question here where they um, copy and paste their code back where they got it. But to actually remove them after they have taken the consent, I need to go to the survey flow over here. And what I'm going to do, let me go ahead and delete this other option, that was for a different video. And what I'm going to do under this block three, this is my consent form, I need to hit add below and I need to branch. So what's gonna happen is if someone says no, they're gonna come to a point, something's gonna happen. And I need to, like railroad tracks, I need to create a branch, I need to create a different direction, and I either need to send them and let them allow to complete the survey, or I need to send them and kick them out of this, um, kick them out of the survey. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add below, I'm gonna do the branch, and I'm gonna add a condition. The condition is gonna be, if a question, which question, this consent is a no. So it's a question, I selected the actual question. So if they select no, then it's gonna send them somewhere. But now I have to choose where I'm gonna send them. So I'm gonna hit okay. So if no on the consent is selected, I'm gonna add a new element and is going to go to end of survey. So automatically it's gonna kick them to the end, but I can actually customize this a little bit. Um, because you don't just want to go kick someone out without, you know, giving them any information. So I can do a custom end of survey information. So I can do a new message saying, um, you chose not to participate based on the consent form. Please exit this.
page and have a good day. Say something like that. So you're going to save, give it a description, and you're going to hit OK. And next, you're going to hit Apply. So now when they actually take the survey, for example, we can come in here and I'm going to preview the survey. If I hit no, I do not agree to participate and go next, it's going to kick me out. It says, you chose not to participate based on the consent form. Please exit, exit this page and have a good day. Perfect. But if I do agree to participate, I hit yes, I agree to participate. And I can hit the next arrow and it's going to ask me what is my favorite flavor of ice cream, which is Oreo or cookies and cream. That's the best flavor. A anything else, it's okay. And also, if I try and hit next, it's not going to allow me. It's going to... You know, it's going to force me to answer the question. All right. Super quick and easy video of how to do your consent form, how to kick someone out to the end of the um, Qualtrics survey. Please like, leave any comments. You have questions, subscribe. Please message me or email me if you have any questions about this. But you have a great day and happy learning.